2024 is going to be a huge year for DayZ. We have so much coming and here I'm going to discuss the details of everything we have as well as the things they've been laying breadcrumbs for. And if I miss anything, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you like the video, please leave a like or a subscribe. It really helps me out. You have absolutely no idea how much. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Please be able to outrun this bear. Everything wants to kill you. Like, would it kill them to make the bears fluffy and huggable? Oh no. Fight or flight. I can probably... That was quick. You know, for a the moment there, I thought that was going to work. 2024 could mark a monumental year for DayZ, especially with the strong possibility of a new map being produced, which would be available on both PC and console. This speculation stems from various hints dropped by the developers, particularly the 10th anniversary video. The video intriguingly showcased snow falling from the sky, a feature currently absent in the vanilla version of DayZ, alongside a mysterious 35 marked on a runway, as well as a different texture according to some commenters. These subtle clues combined with the developers commitment to supporting and expanding DayZ on consoles suggests that a significant DLC could be on the horizon. In their Q&A they also said this. We still have uh, a lot of plans for years to come uh, including uh, both free updates and maybe something more. Which essentially confirms we're going to see paid DLC just as we did with Livonia. Now, there are other options here. They could just add snow as a season, in which case that would cause me to get so depressed, I would probably end up naming them in a very specific note. But as I spoke about in the previous video, they've just spent so long adjusting the balance that there's just too much risk in this approach. Another potential outcome is a map expansion. But as mentioned by the creator of Namalsk and current creative lead, on the DayZ team, this creates other problems. If you increase the playable area, you also need to increase the player count, which puts additional pressure on server. More playable area also means more building, so you also put pressure on central economy and other systems of the game, like keeping active AIs on the map and so on. Albeit this video is a few years old, but the other points he mentioned are still relevant. However, I personally think, although we'll likely see a full snow map in 2024, the major update following in 2025 will be improvements similar to what we've experienced with Chinaris and the Northwest Airfield and Livonia and the Bunker slash improved overall landscape, which would likely be based on player feedback, but it's not just the map we're likely to expect in 2024. There have been whispers of other things and a few breadcrumbs as well. Firstly, let's acknowledge there's been a huge growth in the DayZ development team from a modest group to a substantial collective. This is a clear indicator of the game's escalating success and potential as it continues to soar past its own records. The expansion is not just about numbers, it's a reflection of the game's robust and dynamic development strategy and in 2024 we're going to reap the benefits of this expansion. The DayZ developers themselves have expressed a long-term vision for the game, which suggests that upcoming updates will not only meet but exceed the community's expectations and now they finally have the manpower to afford the necessary attention to an often top 20 game on Steam, not to mention the millions and millions of players across the console, which is hardly ever mentioned when speaking about the DayZ player base. Is Wayne Brady going to have to choke a bitch? This would of course continue the established pattern of listening to the player base, meaning in 2024 we'll finally get the recurve bows we've all wanted and asked for, or at the very least I'll say it's definitely likely. This would utilise the brand new projectile system they implemented with the crossbow, which also opens up the possibility for many other weapons such as slingshots and even blowpipe darts. The previous adjustments and updates to bus assets and new trucks also leave a little room for speculation here. Maybe we'll see another vehicle like we did the Hummer. Now there is one thing that was sort of cancelled but I can still see coming in 2024 and it's adjustments to the infected. Now I don't know how considering their AI has proven to be tricky for the team to mess with because of the engine problems but they have definitely noted in the past a desire to improve them and the DayZ dev team don't seem to let things go. They just seem to MacGyver the hell 
out of it. As long as this doesn't mean giving them the ability to break down doors while they're so glitchy, I welcome any other improvement. Like, even laser eyes. Like, I would rather them shoot lasers from their fucking eyes than be able to break down doors. Yes lasers. And the last thing in terms of requested updates, I'd also expect to see some new additions to the crafting and minor adjustments to base building. Yes, they've said in the past they had no intention of updating base building, but then they also said they had no intention of introducing bows or a new map, so you can kind of see where I'm going with this, as it's the most requested feature next to a map. And with the new map coming and them focusing on a realistic heat system, the current system just won't be compatible with a snowy scenario. Therefore, I can certainly see some base assets being added rather than the system itself being transformed. This could be in the form of inside heat systems and so on and so forth rather than us having entire new base assets. assets. However, I do want to state and make it perfectly clear it would be an unrealistic expectation to expect them to just fix and add everything we've ever asked for in the space of a year. That is very unlikely. Likely. However, they can absolutely lay down the foundation for what the community has been requesting, which they seem to have been doing this past year. But for more Daisy videos and to really help me out, watch one of these here. But as always, until next time.